So let's differentiate and find dy dx for x times y plus 5x equals 8. And to do that, we're just going to get started by taking d dx of both sides of the equation. Okay, so I'll split this up. I'll make d dx of x times y plus 5 times d dx of x. Remember that I can always essentially take out the constant, the 5, in this case, as long as it's multiplying the variable, and it was. So I can do that, 5 times d dx of x. And the derivative with respect to x of 8 is just 0, because 8 is a constant. Great. So now, what is the derivative of x times y? What can we do here? Well, we can take the product rule. How fun, eh? Okay, so we're going to have to go and say d dx of x times y plus x times d dx of y plus. Now, of course, d dx of x is just 1, so 5 times 1 is just 5. Still equals 0. Okay, again, we have d dx of x, and that's just 1 again. 1 times y, that's just y. And here we have d, sorry, we have an x, so just write it here. And d dx of y, I can decompose that into d dy of y times dy dx. Still the 5 is being added here. Okay, so what do we end up with? We have x, d dy of y is just 1. Why is that again? Because essentially we have dy over dy. So that's just, they cancel out, and that's just 1. In other words, the derivative of y with respect to y is 1. And we're still multiplying the x by the dy dx right here. Plus 5 equals 0. So we want to isolate dy dx. So I'm going to get started by just subtracting y and 5 from both sides of the equation. Whoops. Okay. My software was going crazy here. So I still have x times dy dx over on the left hand side of the equation. Now I just have negative y minus 5 over here. And I can finally divide both sides by x. And we're done. dy dx is equal to negative, sorry, minus y. No, sorry, I meant negative y minus 5 over x. Now today I'm just a little bit out of it. Forgive me. So that is our answer. dy dx is equal to negative y minus 5 over x.